What is up, you awesome human beings? Welcome back to another live video. Tonight, we're going to be going over and, and covering some re a really, really simple way on how you can boost testosterone. It's really, really dead freaking easy. This is going to be particularly helpful for you. If you wake up in the morning and you don't get a morning wood, uh, if you feel sluggish, if you feel lethargic, if you feel like over the last 5, 10, 15 years, you've begun to get less and less and less motivated than what you were. If you feel like you're less confident than what you were, your sex drive isn't there, you struggle to be able to you know, maintain an erection on a regular basis. If any of those things sound familiar, then this is going to be super, super helpful for you. Right? And I think you guys will get a lot out of this. Um, now, by the way, uh, uh, as well, if you're watching this now and you're watching this live, please comment live. If you're watching this as a replay, please comment replay, okay? So if you're watching this live, just comment down in the comment section live. Uh, if you're watching this as a replay, just comment replay. Cool? Capish? Let's do this. By the way, if you have any questions at all throughout this video, feel free to, to ask it. Like I'm, I'm running this live so I can literally answer your questions or anything that you need in real time. Okay? So like literally anything that you need at all, now is your time. I'm happy to chat with you guys and, uh, and, and, and help you out as much as you need. Welcome Orlando. Good to have you on. And also too, like another thing that's cool is um, Facebook doesn't show me who's actually on here. So I don't know who I'm talking with. So if you can just drop in and say hello or comment live or replay it's nice for me to be able to like say this uh, to, to, to see this so i can actually know who it is that i'm doing this um i've been coaching for a long long time now guys like a really really long time um like fuck we've coached over seven thousand dudes must be approaching eight thousand now i stopped counting a long time ago uh, i've been coaching for nearly 10 years uh, and it's still super cool. Like the one thing that keeps me doing this is I get to see you guys. And I put out this content, this information to hopefully help you. Um, so hopefully it has some benefit to you. So please, like let me know um, in, the, in the comments who's actually watching, who likes this, who gets benefit out of this. Um, because I just want to see you guys fucking dominate. I, there's been times in my life where I was really, really crap. I tell you about a time when I was younger, when I had low testosterone. Um, so it was fresh off. I, I, I'd done multiple bodybuilding shows back to back. I was fresh off doing a nationals. Um, I was fucking flat stick and I had a lot, lot of shit going on. Uh, my best mate just died. Um, my best mate, Justin, he, uh, he had a brain tumor. And so pretty much for the two years prior to that, I'd watched him kind of slowly do it all away. So we, he went really well and then he went into remission and we're like, fuck yeah, he's beaten it. It's amazing. And then his brain tumor came back and, I, and it was just fucking awful. It's the most, one of the most horrible periods of my life. And, uh, and I watched him, I watched him die. And that was probably the hardest thing at that time that I'd ever dealt with and still probably one of the, the hardest things that I've ever dealt with in my life um, going through that. So I was super stressed out, super anxious, really depressed. Um, I remember being uh, uh, at, at college um, and I, I, was, I was studying at the time. I, I studied a degree in medical science. I used to want to be a doctor until I realized how fucked up the medical system is and I dropped out. And, uh, and I remember I was there at college. I studied at Macquarie University. And I just remember feeling fucking flat every day. I didn't want to wake up in the morning. I couldn't think. Um, you know, I was averaging like around distinctions in, 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 um, in my subjects towards the end of my degree. And like, I, I couldn't learn. I couldn't learn. I couldn't take anything in. It was like someone would say something and go in one ear, out the other. Um, I was, yeah, I was always lethargic. I started gaining fat really quickly. I started losing muscle. I started getting like losing strength. But you know, the biggest thing was, is like, you know, uh, I, I could, you know, at, at certain stages in college, I found out how to talk to talk to women, and um, and and you know, being able to like sleep with a bunch of women because it's at college, right? Everyone just fucks each other. It's it's wonderful. I highly recommend going to college if you haven't done it. And uh, and I still remember being there, and I was like, I was dating a couple of girls, and um, I didn't want to have sex. I didn't want to have anything to do with them. I didn't want to, didn't do anything. And even if I did hang out with them, like I just couldn't function. My cock just did not work. I'm sorry to be graphic on this, but like nothing worked at all. And it was just the biggest disappointment. It was just like this limp little appendage that hung off me and was good for nothing when it had been my best mate for however many years before. Um, and so like, if you've got low testosterone, I feel you, like, I feel you, it's the worst because you just get so anxious, so down, your energy is so fucking low, your sexual performance is so bad, like, everything is just freaking awful. Um, and so yeah, I'm going to run you through something, uh, in a, in a sec on, uh, on how you can boost this really, really easily. Who have we got on? Jamie Kelly. Welcome on my friend, Craig Fisher, my brother. I hope you're doing well. Craig said you're spot on about Reishi having some great response from man. Dude, Reishi is the shit. If you guys aren't on Reishi, this is 
is a bonus hack, right? Go get reishi, all right? Reishi is the shit that you need. If you don't know where to buy reishi, let me know. I've got a wonderful, wonderful source. Not all reishi is created equal. The one that we recommend is by far the most potent on the market. Reishi is a mushroom, uh, and we get an extract of that mushroom, which massively enhances multiple bodily functions, our immune response, our nervous system response, and it can actually cascade into affecting our hormones as well. It's wicked, wicked stuff. Aaron Thorne, my man, welcome. I love your profile picture, bro. Very, very sexy, very sexy. All right, let's crack on into it. So here's gonna be the, uh, the, 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 the hack, the really, really simple, but nobody ever thinks about this shit. By the way, if you're watching this, comment live. If you're watching this as a replay, comment replay. All right. So if we're going to hack testosterone, we want to boost it. We want optimal levels of testosterone. Here's what we've got to do. Number one, we need to understand what is it that causes testosterone to be lower than optimal. If we are perfectly healthy, then we will just naturally have perfect levels of testosterone. Makes sense, right? The body is born healthy, and when it's exposed to bullshit in the environment, that's what makes it less than healthy. It's as simple as that. Okay, so we need to remember that. That means that you do not need to take test boosters. Taking tribulus, taking diaspartic acid, tasting all the, anything that's a fucking testosterone booster is bullshit, right? Is total bullshit. The next thing after that is like, uh, most people, 99% of people do not need to take testosterone replacement therapy, testosterone creams, progesterone creams, anything like that in order to have optimal levels of testosterone, right? While I'm a, a big fan of some of those for certain reasons, to have optimal levels of testosterone, you simply do not need it. It is not there. All we need to do is we just need to unfuck the body, if, there is, if we have lower than optimal testosterone, if we don't feel fucking incredible 24-7, 365, if we aren't cracking a wood every single morning, if our sex drive isn't incredible, if we aren't gaining muscle, losing fat, feeling fucking awesome, thinking clear, being sharp, being highly motivated, being bang, 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 able to crush life every single day, then there's something that we're doing wrong that we just need to fix. Okay, simple as that. We just need to fix the fuck ups. Now, here is where the number one fuck up lies every single time, right? It lies within the system which regulates our ability to produce testosterone, okay? Our balls produce our testosterone. Our brain talks to our balls and our brain tells our balls how much testosterone to produce. And when we get an issue with our brain, aka our nervous system, this connection between our brain and our nuts it goes away and it stops working, stops functioning as well. There are two key hormones called luteinizing hormone and follicle stimulating hormone. Now, don't worry about remembering them too much, but they're just two hormones, right? Don't have to remember the names. There are two hormones that go from your brain down to your balls and they tell your balls to get big, right? And they tell you big and nice and plump and ready to produce lots of testosterone and the other one which signals to produce the testosterone, okay? And so what we need to do is we need to optimize these two hormones. Now, what I've noticed through many, many years of coaching is that whenever, whenever we get a poorly functioning nervous system, our testosterone production goes down. So what is a poor, poorly functioning nervous system? Whenever a little hormone called cortisol is elevated, okay? Now, these names, I know they're funky. I know that they're complicated. I get it. I know. I, it's fair enough. It's all well and good for me to remember these. I studied studying fucking medicine and medical science and all that sort of stuff. I'm not expecting you to remember all of them, but the key, ones, the key one I want you to remember is cortisol. Whenever cortisol goes up, testosterone goes down. They are inversely proportionate. Write that down if you have to. Cortisol up, testosterone down, okay? It's as simple as that. So what we need to do is we need to reduce our cortisol. How do we do that? What is the simplest, easiest way to reduce our cortisol? Well, there are many, many, many different ways in which we can reduce our cortisol. By the way, if this is making sense and you want to go into more depth on this, just comment testosterone down below and I'll send you across a free training. It goes for about 11 minutes all with like thousands of ways on how you can optimize your testosterone, okay? So just comment down, comment testosterone in the comment section below and, and we'll send it across to you. By the way, if you're a client, you're part of our crew, you've already got access to this in like 10,000 more, 10,000 times the amount, okay? Um, so but just comment testosterone if you want that. So what we've got is what cortisol. Now, how do we get cortisol down? Because if we get cortisol down, testosterone will go up, right? That's how they work. Cortisol up, testosterone down, cortisol down, testosterone up. That's how it works. 
So what we need to do is we need to do the following, right? Step number one, you need to sleep better, okay? We need to get much, much better sleep. And specifically, we need to get an increased amount of deep sleep, increased amount of REM sleep with a much, much better sleep cycle. You don't want to be waking up throughout the night. You don't want to be peeing throughout the night. And in the morning, you want to wake up feeling really, really freaking good. If you do that, that'll be your first step to optimizing your cortisol. Second thing after that, we need to reduce inflammation and damage within the body. What is the biggest cause of inflammation and damage? Stress. That means we need to reduce stress. There are five key types of stresses, right? Resting stress. Are you getting enough recovery time or not? If you're working massive hours, if you're training a whole heap, if you're always running after kids, you got pressure on you all the time, your brain is just going, 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 your resting stress is not going to be good. Physical stress, right? Are you exercising a lot? Are you physically exerting yourself a whole heap? How much training are you doing? Are you not doing any training? You're not doing any exercise? Too much or too little physical activity is a stress, right? That's the next one. Next one after that, I call financial, right? Financial is whenever we have debts with the bank, right? Whenever we have mortgages, bills to pay, stresses at work, your bosses are cunts, like things like that. Whenever we have those things, that's a, a financial stress. Next one I call emotional stresses. Emotional are things like, are you arguing with your missus every single night? Do your kids not talk to you? Do you hate yourself when you look in the mirror, right? Those sorts of things which affect you emotionally, the stuff which sits in your gut and sits in your heart, okay? The financial is stuff that ren runs in your brain when your brain's going a million miles an hour, but the emotional is the stuff that sits here. And the final one is digestive stress. Are you drinking? Are you taking drugs? Are you putting you know, shitty food down your throat? Anything which is gonna upset your digestive system. If you can optimize all of those stresses easily, right? Simply, your cortisol will go down, your testosterone will go up. That's what we've done. We've done that with thousands and thousands and thousands of different, different dudes, right? And this is one of like the underlying principles of every single thing that we do here at JCF with all of our coaching. That's how we always run it. If we can make it so that you can control every single one of those things and you can bring them back into alignment so that you have incredible recovery. If you have very, very low financial stress, very, very low emotional stress, fantastic physical stress, and very, very low digestive stress, you're gonna be really, really killing it. Okay. Now, whenever these things start adding up and accumulating and getting worse and worse and worse, and we increase these levels of stress, what ends up happening, right? Every single time is always happens. What ends up happening is we burn out. We feel like shit. Cortisol goes through the roof. We need to make sure that we're trying to unpack as much of that stress as possible. Does that make sense, guys? By the way, let me know if that makes sense or if that doesn't make sense. I'm happy to go over and explain it again and again and again if you need to, right? So just let me know in the comment section um, if, uh, if, 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 if it does make sense or if it doesn't. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, okay? Now, Craig mentioned before about reishi. Reishi is one of the best hacks for this because as soon as you start taking reishi, you take it on a regular basis, it is going to just slightly drop down the amount of stress that you feel and it's going to make life a hell of a lot easier for you, okay? So that's what you need to do. Focus on the five stresses, right? Imagine stress is like a backpack. You got this backpack on and you chuck in a little bit of resting stress because you haven't slept terribly, terribly well at night. And okay, cool, like it's a little bit heavy, but I can deal with it. Chuck in a little bit of physical stress because you're not exercising enough, you're sitting on the couch and you just don't have any time for you, right? So chuck it on, it's like, fuck, okay. It's getting a bit heavy, but I can still manage. And then after that, throw some emotional stress on because you're dealing with your kids are being little turds or you're arguing with your wife or you've got feuds with your, your family, right? Throw a little bit more on You're like, fuck, now this is getting really, really heavy. I'm pretty over this, right? And you're slowing down. And then after that, just throw in a little bit of financial stress as well with the banks and with debts and all that sort of shit, right? And throw that in on as well, okay? And they're like, this is really, really fucking heavy. And then finally at the end, you start drinking, you start taking some drugs to escape, a little bit of booger sugar, a couple of little disco biscuits, those sorts of things, right? And then bang, all of a sudden, the backpack fucking collapses you. You can't move anywhere, you break your back, you're fucked, right? That's how it works. It's little bit by little bit by little bit. And so what we want to do is we want to reduce all that shit all that shit we want to get rid of it okay now if you want to learn how to boost your testosterone you want to go into way more depth on how we can actually do all this sort of stuff i want you to comment testosterone down in the comment section right comment it comment testosterone in the comment section and we'll send you across like a free training on how to do all this stuff everything that i've covered tonight in way 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 more depth okay so just comment testosterone and i'll send that across to you jamie kelly's just said kids equals no sleep equals stress yeah totally man 
Kids are, kids are, are, are tough. I mean, we've been very blessed with Layla and the way that Soph manages her means that we get fantastic sleep. But I, I know that when they hit the, uh, the, the twos and they start going through their regressions and their leaps and all that sort of stuff, it definitely impacts your sleep. And so the key there is, cool, you're not going to get fantastic sleep. That's just a fact. Like you're not going to get all this fantastic unbroken sleep. But what can we control? What we can control is that when we do get sleep, it needs to be really, really freaking deep as deep as we possibly can make it. Now, it's not going to be the same as getting a solid, consistent 10 hours every single night. But if we can utilize supplements like Reishi, like Lion's Bane, to make sure that we get into those deeper states of sleep and those higher restorative states of sleep where we're enhancing our cognitive function, things are going to be way, way, way easier. Craig just said, yes, I feel much better. It's just so nice to feel. Yeah, 100%. Reishi is incredible. It's fucking wicked. Highly recommend you guys all get onto that. On that note, guys, I'll leave you all to it. Comment testosterone if you want access to the full training. I hope this has helped. I'll speak to you soon.